Hey, fish and friends, how's everybody doing today? Today we got another mystery and lucky tackle box unboxing. We're going to compare the two. And uh, you can let me know in the comments below what you thought was better box. I opened both of them already and looked at them. It's kind of a toss-up, but we'll go through them here and see. And uh, since mystery tackle box lost the last time, we're going to go ahead and we'll open it first. So here we go. We got the mystery tackle box pro. All righty. And these are for bass, but and we'll go ahead and all right. We got the card, and we'll go from the right down. The cheapest thing first is the Yum Christy Crawls. All right, we got some Yum Crawl Baits, Yum Black and Blue. Black with blue speckle. You can't really see them. I'll show. I'll get them out of the pack and show you. Uh, kind of like a creature bait. They got legs and stuff all over them. To me, I think Yum's kind of a cheaper bait. You can go to Walmart and get it. Whatever. Uh, the price on here says two ninety nine. I mean, I don't buy them, but uh, some of y'all might like them. I mean, I'll. I mean, I'll try them. But, what the worst thing is, I just went to Bass Pro and Pigeon Forge there and I bought some creature baits just like this and here they sent some. I bought the Bass Pro edition. Alright. I don't know if you can really see their camera really ain't showing it, but they're black with uh, blue speckles. No additives on them, you know. Oh, they got some heavy legs. I'd say they'd swim pretty good the way they're, if you can't tell here, their fins is made like a, like a swim bait tail, so I'd say they'd swim pretty good, they'd work, throw them on the back of a jig, you know, Texas rig them, however you want to do it, uh, the next thing is a Lucky John 3D macro, and the price is 333 All right, here we got some uh, shad tail designed in Japan, four inch, four piece. That's your swim bait. Uh, says real action. I don't know. I, I've heard a lot of people saying they have good luck at swim baits here, but I ain't really got to try them. They're orange. Uh, kind of silver and clear right here. Got some uh, sparkly silver in them. They feel pretty good. I would like to get in and start trying them. Uh, I'm going to, which I'll be fishing a lot of tournaments this year, and hopefully get some good videos. And, uh, you know, we'll just have to see. I don't know. Every time I go out there, I don't have no luck. But I'll be fishing a lot of tournaments this year. I'm going to try a lot of different stuff. So we'll see what works. Uh, next thing we got in here is Def Stalker. And the price is $5.49. Here we go. It's like a spoon. Death Stalker is a multi species killer. It's half ounce gold tiger. It says you use 8 to 12 pound fluorocarbon. Alright, let's check it out here. Alright, this is it. Got it. I think it's heavy. And. Uh, must have a pretty good hook. Yeah. Really good sharp hooks. It's kind of like a gold and it. You got some black up here and a little bit of blue. Ugh, but I ain't never really tried none of these. I've seen people use spoons, but I don't know. You can try it and see if it works. All right. Let's see what the next thing is. 
Next thing is a uh, Mustad Impact Spring Jigs. And when I got my box, <clears throat> when I looked in it, these is all, every one of them was out of the pack. I said, well, they sent me an empty pack. And the price is two twenty five. They give you two of them. Uh, let's see. I don't know how many ounces. I didn't look how many ounces these was. They don't really say what the ounce is. We'll take them out here. Let you get a better look at them. They got a silver head on with the little eyeball. You know. Uh, it's sharp. Good hooks. Them mustad hooks are good. That's them. Guess you can use them for you. You know, either one of those baits that they give you in here. It's usually how they send it. They'll also give you something to, you know, use it with. Uh, next thing we got the Jinko fishing thermo head, thermo shad, five ninety nine. To me, would I give five ninety nine for this? No. Uh, maybe you all are different. I bought a whole box of these. I mean, I got them back here in my back room, and they're. I mean, I don't ever use them. Oh wow, that feels amazing. It's like a really soft plastic, durable. I say it'd be hard for them to tear up. It's a little green, got a yellow stripe and white. That would actually probably work pretty good. God, here's what a hook they give you. Man, what a heavy beast right there. We'll look on here and see if it says how much this weighs. I don't know if it does or not. Alright, we got, it says, it don't really say. They went with the swim baits this box I guess that was more of the theme of it uh, let's see the next thing we got is baby bite for $10 on $9.99 and this thing I looked at it you know got a little crankbait got a good color to it and stuff uh, and it's Japanese style hooks uh, lead free let's see what it says Two and a half inch, uh, 13 grams. It's root beer chartreuse. Then this this warning sign on the back, this is what's got me confused. It says, this product may contain a chemical known at, to the state of California to cause cancer or birth defects or other reproductive harm. So we're gonna take this out and check it out. Oh. I didn't look and it didn't say how far it dived down or nothing. Running depth one to two meters. It's SR slash DR two to four meters. So I don't, I don't really know what that means. It's got some good hooks on it. Got a really nice paint job. It's a uh, Got a little bit of orange here, and you got yellow, then you got some white. Uh, it's got some, looks like green or blue looking uh, flakes all over it. Got a pink belly. I, really, I like this. It's got a really good paint job. I mean, you can tell that, you know, it looks good. All right. I ain't really got into the crankbait fish. I've tried them. I've actually been out there. You know, I'll tell you, I want to try these baits, and I have took some of these crankbaits out there and tried them. I don't know. Maybe it's me. I don't know how to use them. You know, like I told you at the beginning of the channel, when I first started this, I'm a beginner fisherman, and uh, but I've tried them. I don't know. Some I just feel like I'm reeling too fast and stuff, so... I mean, I ain't had no hits on them, but I'll keep trying them. I mean, everybody else has good luck with them, so. The next thing is a Strike Pro glider for 11.59.
This is a really nice bait. All righty, there you go. Two piece. You can, uh, it's got a piece in there. You can change your tail to like a sartreuse, or you got orange right here. Uh, let's see what else it says. It don't really say the color or name of it. Death is one to one point seven feet. Suspending. Okay, let's take it out of the box here. And that's uh, four dash one eighth ounce or a half ounce. I don't know what that. All right, you got a little sartreuse up here on the head, black. Uh, it's gold right here. Got some stripes down it. Uh, got your blue and orange belly. This is probably like a really good color for my area. I see how hard it is to change the tails. Uh, well, I feel like I'm gonna rip it. I don't know if I just ripped it or not. <clears throat> well, I'll tell you this, it was easier to put the green one in than it was to change the red one, but I guess it worked come packaged like that. It was a little stuck. Uh, the hooks feel good on it, but you know, in a way, it's kind of cheap, but, you know, I don't know. Seems a little cheap. I don't know if I would give $12 for this or not. I don't know. If I knew it would work, it would. But the orange and the blue, and it would be more like bluegills and stuff around here. But uh, it may work out pretty good. I mean, I'll try. I mean, I'll try anything. You have them hard days fishing. That's the worst thing about it. Uh, the tournaments I'll be going to is mainly on Laurel Lake, and uh, we'll have some on Cumberland and stuff. But I don't know. They're gonna be the Laurel Lake's like a dead sea out there. I fished on it a couple times, and I ain't had no luck. So could be me, or it could just everybody around here calls it the dead sea. So I don't know. But, oh yeah, you got this in there too. They throw this in the box. A uh, little bitty tube of, you know, garlic. So, yeah. To me, and this is for both boxes, for it to be this close to Christmas, this is going to be like, a lot of people are going to buy this for their kids to go and try and, you know, this good Christmas gift. And, you know, to me, that's not enough bait. I mean, you know, you, Christmas is probably their biggest time of year. I would send out an extra bait or two, just kind of make it look good, but no, they didn't. So, in our lucky tackle box, we got a calendar. You know, first thing, little calendar there. Uh, you get your card, you got, let's see. You got this card. There's another little card, sticker, lucky tackle box sticker. Uh, another one, I don't know, they must have quit the golden tickets or whatever, so, whatever. Uh, we'll go ahead and start from the bottom again on this list and go all the way up to the top. It says a Clenzel sample box. So let me try to find this. Alright, this is it right here. Um, I'm trying to think. I really don't know what this is. We can smell it here and see what. It's 
smells kind of minty. I don't know what this is. Apply a liberal coating of So I guess this is for like rusty stuff. It says apply a liberal coating of cleanse oil to the problem area. Most applicants will see immediate results. Several rusted parts may require more time for the product to penetrate. Wipe away excesses. That's cool. I got some old rusty baits and stuff out in the boat and stuff. Probably wouldn't be bad to put on an old reel or something. It's got a wild smell to it. Alright. So you get that. It don't say the price of it. It just tells you where you can buy more of it. But other than that, it's it. Next thing you got is Woo Tungsten Fitness Kid. eleven ninety nine LTB exclusive. God, I don't know if I'd give eleven ninety nine for this. All right, you got a bunch of weights and stuff, good for drop shots and, uh, you know, other setups are BBs. I mean, mine's all out of whack here, but would I give $12 for this? No. It says you got two eighth-ounce tungsten flipping weights, one eighth-ounce teardrop, teardrop, and... Uh, one eighth ounce skinny and Vista drop shot weighed uh, one thirty seconds ounce of tungsten nail weights, uh, woo flipping beads, and woo stops. And then you got a little coupon, save five dollars on your next order with code, you know. So you got a little coupon in it, whatever. Maybe it ain't nothing. You know, special. But next thing we got Basszilla for eleven ninety nine Monster Bass. Basszilla. And what do you know? Big swim bait. Uh, they've sent me probably ten of these. This is Revolution Bluegill Four Inch Ghost Minnow. I do like it. It's got a good color. I don't like it. It's got one red hook on it. I don't know. I just don't like colored hooks. Uh, I got one of these. I really don't like it. Uh, I'd rather just have the one that's all rubbery. This is just hard plastic. Uh, you know, it's all mechanical. The tail's stiff. It ain't even got a, you know, that one they sent. Had some like uh, stringy things on the back, you know. At least give it a little flex. But no, this no. Uh, I don't know. The hooks don't feel too good. They're all right. Nothing special. But yeah, I don't know. It's clear. Other than that, it's a good little color. It looks good. I mean, it'd probably work. But I don't like taking the time to fish with them. But other people might. I mean, I watch a lot of videos on YouTube and stuff. Just kind of got my own channel. I mean, I watch them, but you know what? I ain't never seen nobody fish with them. All these guys that are sponsored by these places say, oh, yeah, the best bait in the world. It'd take them a month to catch a fish on it, and that's their video that they put on, like, LuckyTackleBox.com or something. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. I mean... If it takes you a month to catch one fish on this bait, probably not that good of a bait. All right, next thing we got is a Mustang KVD Triple Grip Four Pack. This bunch of treble hooks, uh, size six. Mustang, I mean, they know if you could change out that red treble hook if you didn't like it, which I don't. But I probably won't ever use that. Honestly, they've given me. They probably sent me. I know I got three or four of those big. I don't ever use them. So, but yeah, 
or just some uh, travel hooks if you need them. You, know, you might have some baits laying around that's got some broke hooks or something, you know. There you go, change them out. All right, next thing we got is Conroe Candle, LTB exclusive, four ninety nine. I don't know if I got this or not. Conroe Candle, Texas Tackle. Oh, guys, I'm, oh, there we go. I got it. I was looking at these. I've been wanting to try them. They're kind of almost like the Nico worm. I'm pretty sure uh, Lucky Tackle Box in it last month. Uh, still got the green pumpkin, got red, and uh, black flakes in them. Let's see what the color. Target species is bass, walleye, trout, crappie, saltwater. To catch the biggest fish, you need the best bait. Texas has got some big fish. I've seen them. God, I'm not even smell. I mean, they smell like they got, they got something on them. I don't know what it is. They stink, man. Hey, fish like stink stuff. And they got like a funky looking tail on the back of them. I'll just tell you right now, first bite right there, that little piece of that is going to rip right off. Tell me, I don't know if it helps anything. These are better than them uh, Nico rigs. They end up sending me because I know in the last video, you can see whenever I just squeezed on it and pulled it, it just like it, everything in it was coming apart and coming out of it. Junk. Oh, yeah, they're supposed to be durable and all this, but yeah. All right, the next thing we got is Doomsday Tackle Company Assorted Plastics. This caught my eye. You got a Spice Pumpkin, six count, uh, 4.6 inches. Look at these. Looks kind of like a beaver bait or something. I mean, I may be wrong. Just to correct me if I'm wrong, but... Looks kind of like a beaver bait or, you know, some kind of crawl imitation, and I spilled every one of them. Uh, right here, I don't know if you're supposed to cut the tails apart or what, but there you go. They don't have nothing on them. They feel pretty stout. They're heavy. I don't think that flop very good in the water, but I don't know. You know, that's a big, that's sometimes a big presentation to help you. You know what I'm saying? So, maybe all right. All right. <clears throat> Next thing we got is garlic scent. Liquid mayhem, no fish can resist. Garlic crawfish scent. Uh, let's smell it here. I I buy this uh, garlic dip and it dyes your stuff sartreuse. I don't know if this dyes anything or not. My nose. But let's check it out and smell it. Right. It's not that stout, the stuff. I, I mean, it's alright. And I don't know. I use it and it actually works. That garlic dip I use, it's garlic and sartreuse, and I don't know if it's maybe the color or the, the taste. I mean, I don't know. I guess I could try this and see if they liked it, and then, you know, it'd be the smell that they was going after. But, uh, so the next thing is the G, G Crank LTB exclusive, ten ninety nine, and they said that was nine ninety nine. so. G Crank LTB exclusive, uh, Clear Lake Lures. 
Here we go. I thought I got something similar to this last week, but I could be wrong. We got two big BBs in it. Uh, length is 75 millimeter. Uh, depth is three meters. So, let's check this out. I just tell you the hooks are cheap. And that may be why they, them's flimsy. I can just bend them with my fingers easy. I mean, they're sharp. Not really. They're pretty sharp, but you can tell by just by looking at them, them's cheap. And I, hell, I can bend one like that. You know, when the first couple things you get hung in or fish or something, you're going to bend that all to pieces. But it's black and a little yellow. It's all clear. Got red eyes. I like it other than the hooks. The hooks to me are not. I mean, they're not. They're too cheap. I mean, it's got some nice rattle to it. Somewhat. It has to have a lot of movement to move them big balls in there. So, but yeah. Pretty nice bait. All right, guys, that is it for this box. Let me know what you think about which box is better. To me, I still have to go with the Lucky Tackle box, but I, I'm disappointed in both of them. I think that it's Christmas time, like I say, and people can order this box for one time, just one time of the year, to give it to their kid or their friend or whatever that you should have got a little better stuff. I mean, I don't know. But, yeah, to me, I don't know. I get them every month. This would be exciting for somebody, period. But where I get them every month, I think this is probably the worst boxes I've got. I mean, you've got some stuff here that's all right, but to me, it's not worth it. But uh, We're going to keep opening them and comparing them. We'll get some videos out as soon as possible. I mean, I'm not going to promise you anything. And uh, our last video is getting close to 100, but we're only at 50. But if you ain't subscribed, then it ain't going to work. No ways. I can't do a giveaway if somebody don't like or, or, I mean, if you don't comment or, you know, whatever. You need to comment and subscribe. And we'll do a giveaway. I might give away a couple of these Lucky Tackle Boxes or Mystery Tackle Boxes. I might buy a fishing pole or a reel or something to give away. I don't know what the giveaway is. Let's hit that number. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.